Hello everyone. In this video, we will simplify this fraction involving complex numbers without using a calculator. We have negative 5, negative 5i, all divided by negative 5 plus 5i. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there is no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to identify the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, and from this you can see that the conjugate of the denominator is negative 5, negative 5i. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to multiply the numerator and then the denominator by the conjugate, which is negative 5, negative 5i, all divided by negative 5, negative 5i. Okay, now from here, what I'll be doing next is I'm going to take this one. Let me put this one in brackets, actually. All right. So I'll take this one and then multiply it by this. So we have negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. Okay. Then I'll take this one again and then multiply it by this. Okay. So we have negative 5 times negative 5. I That gives me positive 25. I. All right. So we are done with this one. Now let's focus on this. We take this one and then multiply by this. Negative 5i times negative 5, that is positive 25i. All right. Then we take this one again and then multiply it by this. So we have negative 5i times negative 5i, and that gives me positive 25i squared. Okay. So we are done. All divided by. All right. Now let's focus on the denominator. You can see that from here we have negative 5 plus 5i, okay? And here we have negative 5 minus 5i. If you have a squared minus b squared, this is the same as a plus b, then a minus b, okay? So these are the factors of this difference of two squares. So in place of this, I can rewrite this as negative 5 squared minus 5i squared, okay? Now let's go ahead and then simplify this. We have 25, okay? Then 25i plus 25i, that gives me 50i, okay? Then we have 25i squared. Now one thing you should note is that i is equal to square root of negative one, okay? So i squared will be square root of negative one squared. So these two will cancel the square root. So we have i squared is equal to negative 1. So in place of i squared, I'm going to put negative 1. Okay, so we have plus 25, then negative 1, all uh, divided by negative 5 squared is positive 25, then minus. We have 5 squared is also 25. Okay, then i squared is negative 1. Okay, so now let's go ahead and then simplify this further. So we have 25 plus 50i minus 25 all over. We have 25, negative 25 times negative 1, that is positive 25. Okay, so straight away you can see that this positive 25 will cancel this negative 25. So we have 50i over... 25 plus 25 is nothing but 50. So straight away, you can see that this 50, we take care of this 50. So we have I as our answer, okay? And in the real world, I is equal to square root of negative 1. And guess what? We are done. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.